This is going to be a quick video to introduce you to plotting a probability density function with finite support in R using the library ggplot2. Step 1. Identify the distribution inclusive of specific parameters and the support for the distribution you're interested in. Put into the data frame a vector of the support and a vector of the density function evaluated at each value x in the support, and then make your ggplot plot. I'm going to do two examples. One example where we uh, write the density function ourselves, and one example where we use R's built-in density functions for a distribution with finite support. The first example will be a uniform distribution on the parameters 1 to 6. And the second example will be the binomial distribution for the parameters k equals to 10 and p equals to 0.5. Okay, let's dive into R and give it a go. Since we'll be using the library ggplot2, we'll load that first. I will then write out the uniform density as a function of the parameters, which I'm going to default to a equals to 1 and b equals to 6. And the density function should just be 1 over b minus a plus 1. Okay, so here we go. The values little x of the in the support of the random variable are 1 to 6. We have fx that's just going to be uniform density across the vector x, and the default values for a and b will be filled in. We can put all of this into a data frame. I'll just go f x equals x and fx equals fx. Remember, the left-hand side here is the named column of the data frame you're creating, and the right-hand side is the vector of data you are putting into that column. Again, the name you are choosing in that data frame and the vector of data you are putting into that data frame. And then we will go ahead and pass our data frame into ggplot. We will put x on the x-axis and fx on the y-axis. Since this is a distribution with finite support, we will just draw points. And there we have it. A uniform distribution across the values 1 to 6. We could extend this example to include a binomial distribution with support 0 to 10. So this will be a binomial with the number of trials equal to 10 and the probability of success equal to 0 0.5. Maybe we should decorate with a comment up here what type of distribution we were looking at previously. And down below, we will use R's built-in binomial function, density function. And all of this is, in fact, just going to stay the same. And there you have two quick examples on plotting a probability density function with finite support.